what's up guys welcome back to another video if this is your first time on my channel then hi my name is Abir and uh, for the last year I've been making videos about school uh, what is what it is like to be an aerospace engineering student so if you're if that's something that interests you then please subscribe okay so today um, as many of you might already know um, if you follow me on Instagram then you probably know um, I graduated a few weeks ago and I tried to vlog my whole graduation but I felt like I was just taking random um, clips um, there was really not a lot of explanation going on um, not a lot of talking going on so I thought I would sit down and kind of recap um, everything before I show you all the clips that I that I took um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing right now. The graduation for me, the engineering school graduation was on May 9th, which was Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, I mean, everything, I feel like everything went so fast that I didn't really ha like get to kind of register what was going on because it was finals, presentations, like capstone presentations, capstone, um, kind of CDR going on and then all of a sudden it's graduation day and it's the morning you're getting ready and um, you go to the ceremony and then it's over um, so I feel like everything for me like went so quick and like throughout that whole week I was kind of nostalgic and in a weird mood um, just because um, like all of these four years I spent Working and studying thinking that it's gonna be it's gonna take a long while for me to Pretty much just Be where I am today, but I mean when you're in it It feels like a long time, but when it's over it's like whoa what where did all this time go? Um, you guys might think I'm crazy, but that's just how it felt to me I just felt like everything went so quick and it's just kind of like slow down. Let me register what what's going on Overall, the ceremony was really nice. Um, we just sat there, waited for our return, and then you just walk. They say your name, um, they take a few pictures, and that was pretty much it. Most of the time spent in the ceremony was just waiting for other people to go because they start with PhD students, and then I think master's students, and then bachelor's students. And I think the ceremony took, took about two and a half hours, something like that. It wasn't really too long, but it wasn't short either, um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I just pretty much sat with my friends and we, we had a great time. But um, So like, if, if I reflect on this past year, I feel like college, or not this past, this past few years in college, I feel like college is the one time in your life when I guess it depends on your major, but to me personally, I just feel like I learned the most new stuff, which I'm really grateful for. Um, just because in high school, you learn stuff, but it's pretty much the same. It's just a kind of a, a more refined version. Every year, you learn a more refined version of stuff that you learned um, the years before. However, in college, I feel like I've learned so much and it's I don't know, it's just kind of bittersweet to think that my, like a chapter of my life is over. Um, although I'm really, really happy and glad that everything went well. Um, like I, I was able to achieve whatever I said I would. Um, I graduated like summa cum laude, which is really what I wanted to, like where I wanted to be. Um, not that, not that that really matters or should matter to everybody, but it, it's just some kind of like what I set for myself to achieve, which I did, um, which made me really happy. But if I were to, like being in aerospace engineering, if you're um, an upcoming freshman in aerospace engin engineering, um, I get a lot of messages on Instagram asking me about how it's gonna be, what to expect. Um, all I would wanna say is make the best out of it because I think that college time is will be the best time um, in your life. And although it's going to be extremely hard, there's going to be times that you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you'll be like, oh my god, I am super stressed out, I haven't slept in days, and I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Um, 
if if that is really like if aerospace engineering or any other thing that you chose to do in college if that's really really something that you're really passionate about and if it's a really difficult major then i would say just push through it because honestly there is light at the end of the tunnel um if i told my myself like a couple years ago when i was at the library until 5 a.m like writing this report if i told her that she'd probably just be like get the hell out of my face right but um, I feel like I enjoyed my time as an undergraduate student and I would really want you guys to kind of like make the best out of it um, like I am the kind of person that like beats herself really hard whenever things don't go my way and it's kind of like a self-destructive um, thing and I've, I've been trying to work on it and kind of like be like well it's okay if I fail this time I'll do better next time um, I've had pretty difficult times like kind of getting over a lot of like a bad grade or like I don't know like anything that might happen that's bad in college but um, I mean it's important to keep up your grade because it does matter when you're looking for a job uh, but it doesn't really like matter that much as long as you're happy with where you are then it's pretty much okay right um, so yeah um, I've had really difficult times um, cried many times I <laughs> uh, was stressed out to the point where I was just completely like I just shut down but I mean I mean I am a pretty good student um, in my opinion and I still kind of had those kind of difficulties so like I wouldn't be, be like oh everything's gonna be peachy and dandy in college because it's not it's gonna be really hard but nevertheless just kind of like focus on your end goal and do your best and make friends I didn't really get a chance to make a lot of friends I have a few friends like from um, some of my classes but I didn't really get a chance to like go to I don't know like some events or join a club or things like that just because I had to work full-time while going to school full-time so I didn't really have time to do any of that but if you're like a student that kind of has the means to you know only work part-time or not work at all then I would definitely recommend you join clubs um, go to events like engineering events make friends just I don't know like try to socialize um, like although sometimes you're not gonna have time to socialize or most of the time like 95% of the time you're not but there's still that 5% of time that I would feel like you, you can make a good use out of um, that time a lot of people actually also ask me are you gonna go work at SpaceX are you working at NASA blah 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 um not really uh, I am not planning on, on moving from Arizona anytime soon but I was lucky enough to find a job at um, a company where I'm gonna be well I mean I've been an intern there for eight months and luckily for me I was offered a full-time position there so I will be taking that uh, working as a systems engineer or specifically space systems engineer um, and I've been working on uh, Landsat 9 it's like a NASA satellite um, so yeah I'm actually gonna be starting What's today? Today's Friday, June 1st, and I'm try I'm starting June 4th, which is this upcoming Monday. So although I've been working there for a while, so I'm kind of I got used to um, you know just the work in general. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what it is, like how it is to be an actual engineer because now I'm technically like officially an engineer. So yeah, I'll be starting Monday as a full-time employee. Although I graduated my bachelor's, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. I think I did like briefly, but I am a four plus one student. So ASU provides this opportunity to students that have like high GPA where you're, uh, your last year of college as an undergraduate student, um, you can pretty much take um, graduate classes. So you would uh, apply for um, your masters and you'd be taking like combined classes or kind of like classes that are graduate which what I what I've been doing for the last year so I, I still have like um, how much I, I still have six nine plus six 
Um, I still have like kind of, I can't really remember how many I still have, but I know, oh, I still have six classes left uh, for my master's. So I will be going back to school next semester, um, but I'm just gonna be like taking uh, graduate classes. Uh, which I am kind of expecting to get done in like a year like three semesters or something like that so yeah I mean I'm still a student um, I'm gonna be working full-time while I'm doing that at the same time and um, I will be still vlogging kind of showing you guys what it is to be uh, a graduate student in aerospace engineering so just let me know down below if you guys still want to see um, my vlogs I feel like you guys enjoy a lot of my vlogs so that's why I continue to do them but if you want to see something else then just let me know down below so yeah um, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about if you guys have any other questions please let me know down below um, I as I said in other videos follow me on Instagram because I pretty much post a lot of um, like my updates on there um, if you don't want to wait on the vlog so, um, and, and use that as a way to like kind of contact me because I try my best to answer all of you guys' questions on Instagram. So I will link my Instagram handle somewhere here or there. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'm not sure um, if you guys get notifications when I post a video, but make sure you click on that bell thing so that you get a notification. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and now I hope you enjoy the clips from graduation. I'll see you next time.